September 12, 2011 was the day my Prince Walid was born. I was 24 weeks pregnant when I started having labor pain. At the hospital, his chances of living were 50-50, and even after he was born, his chances of having normal, healthy life were low. Walid spent five months in the NICU, where he went through so many surgeries, procedures, and difficult times. One day in the hospital was equal to a week event of ups and downs. I was beyond terrified. My first baby was away from me and kept in an incubator. I used to cry and cry in hours. I was so scared to the point I couldn't cry anymore. As if my tears were dried out. By the time Walid left the hospital, he was diagnosed with a couple of conditions and expected to have cerebellar policy in the future. I didn't care of all of that. My only focus was he is home, finally. I can hold him tight and let him sleep in my arm and forget those five months in the hospital. As days were passing and Walid was growing and looking healthy and well, I realized my fears were growing bigger now. I'm afraid that he might get sick and we go back to the hospital again. I'm afraid he won't have a normal life. I'm afraid I will be worried for him the rest of my life. Fear and agony started slowly occupying my days and nights. I remember my mother, who have raised four of us alone in a poor country, telling me one night after seeing me crying, I knew she was right, but I couldn't get out of my own weakness and fear. One night, Walid got so sick and I took him to the hospital and right there, my worst nightmare ever became true. They told me he needs a big surgery and he will stay in the hospital between two to four weeks. That moment hit me so hard, I felt numb and helpless. I realized all those months I was running away from our reality. I thought to myself, Walid doesn't need my tears, he needs my hand my strength, and my hope. I stopped crying and I start praying. I watched his face while he was asleep and saw how strong a survivor he is. He fought against all the odds and kept looking so lovely and adorable. After the surgery, he opened his eyes and said, hum, hum, which means I'm hungry. This time my tears were joyful tears. And right after we left the hospital, I did something I was so scared to do before. I took Walid and his small walker to the mall, and I let him enjoy being outside with everybody. People were smiling at us. And Diane, who is a developmental aide from the GRIT program, was with us and smiling back at me too, while encouraging Walid to take his steps in the walker. I felt free and light. I was in that box of fear for so long, and now I need to fly with Walid and face our destiny. I know the road is still long and tough, but I'm ready now to hold Walid's hand and walk through it. I'm ready to enjoy my son's journey and be there for him for the rest of my life.